Thanks for checking them and check it out now. I got a story to tell. Now, listen, I was just minding my Benny, baking back, being bold, and no, 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 no pyro Benny, just really chilling. All right. And basically, man, I'm on Instagram. I'm looking at posts. I'm posting stuff up. It's lit on the gram sometimes, all right? While YouTube is uh, kind of infested with a lot of DJ academics is a type of nigga that comments, which I don't mind because those are funny too. Instagram has its own fuckery, okay? And I go over there and I really watch the comments there. And I'm posting stuff up. And all of a sudden, right, Meek Mill hops in my goddamn my Instagram DMs, okay? He got, like, about 10 or 15 Dream Chaser members with him. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, this is a group DM. I don't know if you guys use Instagram, but you could do group DMs, okay? So it's him, me, O'Malley, Chino. I, I think you got motherfucker like the nigga who rolls the weed. Everybody in Dream Chasers is tagged in this message. Now, Meek says, yo, watch how you kind of portray me on the gram, man. Okay, it's not a game out here. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what? Now, again... I get to find out, and making a long story short, Meek Mill was mad about Instagram posts that I made about him. Now, he's mad about this, right? Because he says it's making him look a certain type of way. Now, you might be saying, what type of post am I putting up about Meek Mill? I'm putting up stuff that's publicly available. Okay, stuff that he's put up himself. Like, there was a post he put up where, like, he was walking out of his, like, his mom's house and he slipped and fell. We put it up, and a lot of people were laughing in the comment sections. He didn't like that too much, okay? The funniest thing, he put it up. Right? He put up a couple other posts and people were just kind of laughing at him and shit like that. Now, if you guys haven't been on social media, I don't know why niggas act like they live on a rock. Meek Mill has just been a butt of every joke, okay? When I post up something innocuous about Meek Mill, like it'd be like, yo, new song by Meek Mill's called King. Go check it out. Is it lit or what? They make jokes. Meek Mill has become the butt of every joke. This has obviously affected his mindset because he thought even the blogs. He thought that I... Listen, Meek Mill, I don't know if you guys know, Meek Mill's camp at one point, they were accusing, right, Drake. This is what they told me directly. They were like, yo, listen, could you, like, not really, like, phrase certain captions certain ways because I think Drake is paying people to make accounts to, to, to comment L's in your comments? And I'm like, What? Like, Drake is paying niggas to, to comment else? What, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Now, again, listen, I understand Meek Mill has gone through a traumatic experience, okay? He was trying to bully somebody, got knocked the fuck out, all right? Okay, lyrically. And because of that, he's still getting backlash and it doesn't seem to get better. Now, recently, a lot of people are kind of seeing the chink in the arm of Meek Mill and people are saying, yo, you're not flying private anymore. You're, you're, you're on commercial airlines. He just got in a fight at the airport. And most recently, because I saw him even snap at other blogs as well, like there's a popular Instagram blog called Shade Room. They posted something and he was highly upset about it because he liked a comment about Nikki ass dropped. And they posted like that he liked it because he liked it and he was mad that they posted it, right? Now, he got mad at them. I know he's gotten mad at other blogs, but his latest blog that he's mad at is a blog called Ball Alert, okay? Now, here's the, 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 the quick synopsis of why he's mad, right? And, and it'll explain to you why he probably has a chip on his shoulder and also why all this beef shit is probably getting to him, right? Now, Ball Alert is an Instagram blog, right? They make their money by posting up ads. So they might post a couple good posts and then they sprinkle in the ad in there. That's how they get paid. It's kind of like how Worldstar does their thing on their site, okay? Now, a promoter pay them to put up his event because they're trying to build their brand. If a big platform puts up their party, people will know when you in Miami, you got to go hit up that promoter's party. It's a business strategy, right? They put up the motherfucking post and they basically, and I forgot what the caption is because I think they might have deleted it. I'll try to get it. But the caption kind of says, Meek Mill performing in front of 2,300 people. Now, again, here's the thing. Putting that caption in a vacuum for any artist is not a bad thing. But with Meek Mill, his career has now evolved to everybody comparing what he's doing now to what he was doing before the beef or what he's doing now and what Drake is doing. So people immediately, so they're not even looking at it in, in terms of an ad, right? Keep in mind, this is an ad for a promoter to promote how lit his parties are, okay, in a club. It's 2,300 people. But everybody's in the comment section saying, oh, shit, he's only performing in front of 2,000 people now while Drake overseas performing for 20,000? So that type of shit, and you can imagine he's reading comments, gets to him. Now, he motherfucking snaps, okay? He snaps on the blog and actually goes off, like, pretty extensively. But let me read here what he actually said. He said, 
Y'all be hating with y'all corny ass captions. That's a club. And I'm not performing. I'm just letting the 2,300 people that came to the club hear me. Y'all bum ass internet hoes paid by Nikki. LOL to try to discredit my name. Karen Civil Ball Alert. My sister trying to catch up with y'all cornball ass bitches. This my last time speaking on y'all miserable ass clowns. By the way, Karen, I got tapes of your corny ass saying Nikki. Paying y'all for this geek shit after all I did for your nut ass. Y'all sold y'all souls for a couple of bands. Why y'all don't post about that man molesting that little girl? Oh, I forgot y'all on payroll. And Robin, I'm in the A. You gonna learn about playing with my plate. I dare one of y'all to say something. I'm gonna expose this whack ass blog platform. What the fuck? <laughs> Meek Mill snapping. Now, again... He kept going on. He said, y'all bum-ass bitches know what y'all doing. Everything on y'all line ass page bad because y'all been paid. All they got to do is look. Fuck out of here. I'm not with all that sideways shit. Y'all clowns know what y'all doing. LOL, I need to see a therapist when you make a living exploiting people's lives and spreading false information about y'all own people. Am I my P.O. now? Y'all fake ass news people saying I was charged with something. Why don't y'all report about niggas molesting kids? I'll wait. Then he continued again. He says y'all letting these fat hoes and stank pussy hoes control y'all minds through a computer? I made damn near a mill going to the club this month. Y'all basic bitches can't try to play us. Y'all being paid to cover stories. Fuck out of here. Let's put y'all biz out there. I don't need y'all. Now... Let me just say this, so, uh, the thing that Meek Mill doesn't get, you see, someone like me, I've never take payment from nobody, okay, and there ain't no rapper that could say it ever paid me, there is no motherfucking, um, person with an agenda, no, it's just never happened, however, you see, someone like Meek Mill is that when he sees a lot of posts that goes up about him, which, listen, Meek Mill is a topic of discussion in hip-hop, however, a lot of people, when they discuss him, they just clown him, okay, we can't control commenters, and I'm not speaking off a ball alert, but obviously, Meek Mill got triggered at the wrong thing. They posted an ad. It was nothing to do with you. Instead, Meek Mill looked at it as it was shade, like they were trying to say he's only performing in front of 2,300 people. Instead, they were really trying to big up the promoter because the promoter paid for it. Again, I've seen Meek pull up to my DMs doing this nonsense. I've seen him get mad at the shade room for posting stuff. Now he get mad at Baller Alert. Listen, Meek, whether you want to admit it or not, you do need the media, okay? You do need the media. Secondly, I can't speak for no other blogs, okay? I don't know if Nikki paying nobody, okay? I, I would imagine they would care about their integrity like I do about mine, so they wouldn't be taking no payments to have an agenda when posting shit. However, accusing Nicki Minaj of paying people, it wouldn't be beneath Nicki Minaj to actually do such a thing. But I do have to say, at least in this instance, it don't look like Nikki paid nobody to make you look any type of way. You actually read it, and because you have a negative mindset towards how people are perceiving you so much, you actually then took it like somebody was throwing shade at you. It's, it's probably the same reason why he doesn't want to take too many pictures when he probably look at certain fans and it look like they might not be really a fan and he might be thinking some other stuff. Again, I think his paranoia is coming from his recent traumatic experience. I can't help that. I mean, who could help that? I mean, listen, maybe the see therapy thing is, is a good response. And finally... You can't mistake your motherfucking comment section for blogs comment sections, okay? You don't have your stands just dominate my comment sections or anybody else's comment sections. This is the kind of mentality why you got the name Twitter fingers. Because you're doing too much on social media when a lot of things you should just see and ignore, okay? Again, he's so paranoid because of the place he has gone to in his career, he thinks people are trying to ruin him. While again... Everything that's pretty much happened to you was done by you, okay? When they say you got charged at the airport, nobody's making that up. Basically, the police, they said you got charged. And by the way, there's pictures of you getting cuffed. So again, I don't know exactly why they have so much beef with the media. The media making you look bad. Listen, the people are interpreting stuff you do in the media, and that's making you look bad. By the way, one of the most recent things people weren't fucking with him for is he made a homeless man do like 20 push-ups for $20. He put that on his Snapchat. Nobody went and dug that up. He put that on his Snapchat, thought it was a joke. Then everybody saw it, and people are like, no, this is not cool. And then he probably would get offended even though he put it out. 
Listen, even at times he deletes his Instagram, it might be a good thing for him. You got to stay off of Instagram because this actually just makes people look at you like, damn, yo, yo, what's going on with this guy, right? I believe Baller even made a comment like, you need therapy or something like that because they're looking at what he's doing and they're like, yo, you're making yourself look worse by even replying. So, yeah, again, uh, I don't see really anybody with an agenda against Meek Mill. The fans are going to be the fans, right? There's some people who really fuck with him. There's some people who don't. And when something comes out about him, people are going to react negatively or positively based on whatever they already think. If people don't like him because of his beefs before in the past, they're not going to, like, agree with any move you make, okay? It is what it is, man. But hopefully, man, he kind of uh, eases up because he is wild in the fuck out. And again, Ball Alert did point out it was a motherfucking ad. However, Meek Mill went off nonetheless. Get a comment box, you guys like. Definitely subscribe to Boy Academics. I'm up.